So t t tell us a little bit about um, your philanthropic side as well and, and your giving. What, uh, yeah. what do you want to uh, accomplish? Well, I want to make the world a better place. So, you know, um, I have determined and figured out a long time ago, and I'll share this with the senior citizens in your audience, there's only four things you can do with money. The first thing you can do with money is you can pleasure yourself by buying planes, boats, art, cars. I married 57 years to the same woman. My wife was an educator for 35 years. She was a specialist with learning disabled children. So she worked and neither one of us are uh, consumers. I, we both happen to be of the view, me more than her, that material possessions brings with it aggravation. So, um, you know, I, I don't collect art. Uh, I'm not a sports enthusiast and uh, I don't want more homes and stuff like that. And so, um, uh, uh, when I was working, I had excess income and uh, I had no out in that regard because I didn't want to buy things. Don't get me wrong, you know, certain people have a need. I have a neighbor here, I live in St. Andrew's Country Club in Boca Raton, uh, who drives two Bentleys. Okay, I drive a uh, Hyundai. Okay, and I can afford the Bentleys. I just gave away $100 million to St. Barnabas Medical Center so I could divide that by 250. That's what that's. That's 400 or 40 uh, Bentleys. <laughs> it's a lot of cars, that's for yeah. sure. So, but he understood himself. He says it's very important to his self-image. I have no problem with my self-image. So the first thing you can do with money is you pleasure yourself. I, I'm not there. Second thing you do with money is you give it to your kids. But if you have a lot of money, giving all your money to your kids is a big mistake because you deprive them of self-achievement. And plus, when my kids were growing up, I didn't have a lot of money. So my older boy is a Phi Beta Kappa graduate of Stanford, as is his, his daughter graduated Stanford Phi Beta Kappa, um, and he has an MBA from Wharton, and he was successful in business running his own hedge fund, he retired. And his younger brother is a scientist, has a PhD from Oregon State University. So I didn't want to give them all my money because I want them to be self-achieved. Third thing you do with money is give it to the government, but only a fool gives the government money you don't have to give them. You give them your tax money, you pay your taxes as a citizen, but you don't, know, you don't volunteer to pay more. And the fourth thing you do with money is recycle back in society to try to make the world a better place. So the thing that I'm most proud of is I gave $50 million to send a thousand kids in Newark, New Jersey to college. And you know, you're really changing lives. The average lifetime earnings of a college graduate exceeds by well over a million dollars a non-college graduate, plus you're giving them skill set to be more competitive in society. I gave $40 million to Hunter College where I got my degree. I feel I owed him a debt of gratitude. I got a wife for 57 years, and I got a degree for 24 hours a semester. I gave Columbia a similar sum of money. I've given a lot of money away in the Jewish world. And so I've given $100 million to the same, $150 million to the same Barnabas Medical Center, $25 million to Boca Regional Hospital. So it's, you know, organizations and institutions have made a difference to me and my family in my lifetime, and education, and, uh, you know, fostering equality. In, in yeah. quality.